Kelly, your Kid Valley Director, and I'm here with another training video for you all today. This one is an important one. Today we're going to be discussing what is a Kid Valley Assistant and <clears throat> just go over what you can do to help make a Sunday morning service in Kid Valley really, really successful. You may not be teaching, but you are really the most important ingredient because you help the kids learn and engage and encounter God. So the first thing, and, and one of the most important things, well, well, I will say this is the most important thing because it is the rule, the most important guideline of Kid Valley is safety first, right? So as the assistant, everything you do, whether it's awareness, watching the kids, uh, making sure the perimeter is safe, making sure the kids uh, do not leave the, the space without permission, without knowing exactly where they are, without adult supervision. Those types of things are all about safety first. Um, secondly, it, I need all of my assistants and teachers to be on time on Sunday morning. It is so important and it takes such a weight off my shoulders when I know all my teachers and assistants are there at 10 o'clock. And the reason we meet at 10 o'clock is because we have a 15 minute pre-service meeting where we just go over the plan for the morning and we pray for one another and for the children. And it's so important that you take part in that. And then we open at 10.15. So if you're coming in at 10.30, you're actually 15 minutes late. And there's a lot of responsibility between 10.15 and 10.30 because we're checking in kids, taking temperatures and getting kids to the game room and making sure they're having fun. So. Thanks for being on time at 10 a.m. And you know, so many of you have been on time and that's amazing. The next, and this is what I want you to focus on from 10, 10 15 when the kids arrive to 12 o'clock and the kids leave. It's all about creating connections with kids. That means you're gonna play with them. When you're in the game room, I would greatly appreciate it if you weren't standing on the wall Instead, go and join them, play games with them, and many of you already do these things. It's my expectation that you'll be engaging with them, having conversations with them, listening to them, asking them about their week, and really connecting with them and creating a, a rapport with them that helps kids feel safe. And then they'll open up and be more willing to share their heart with you and with Jesus. I need all of my teachers and assistants to live by example. So that means our phones are away during Kid Valley time. We're not on our phone unless uh, obviously if we need to contact a parent or in the case of an emergency. We're fully engaged in the work of loving kids and connecting with kids. And then I want you to focus on supporting the encounter and the learning of children. And this takes a couple of different forms. For example, during the worship service, in order to support the learning and encounter of children with God, I need all of my adults to be fully engaged in worship. It's really important that the kids see adults who praise loudly, who dance, who lift their hands, who are willing to pick up a flag and, and participate fully in worship. Why? Because they're learning how to be an adult by watching us. So it's very important that we fully engage in the practice of worshiping with the kids. If they see us standing on the edge, they're gonna check out as well. They're gonna say, well, the adults, they're checked out, so I don't need to be fully engaged. But if we are excited about what God is doing, then they have no excuse, and they'll be more likely to jump right in. Also, another way to support the learning and encounter of children with God is uh, to make sure during the lesson you are helping kids be respectful, quiet, focused, and engaged. So whether that's walking, walking through the children, um, you know, redirecting kids who are talking, making sure they're paying attention to the speaker, that's really on the assistants. It's, it's very challenging for the person who's teaching to have to stop and redirect kids. But if we have adults right down in the mix with kids, telling them, hey, let's give our full attention to the teacher. Let's listen to this, this is really important. If we're helping kids by redirecting them, then the pressure isn't on the person who's speaking to do that. 
Um, another way that we can support the learning is to help our special needs kids be responsible and, and be safe. So we're gonna talk about um, serving our special needs kids right now. If you are the floating assistant or the early check-in person, you are assigned to assist special needs children in Kid Valley. Once you're done doing early check-ins, you come on over to uh, the OC Harms, and we have a couple of very special kids who need your attention. Now, your full energy and attention is to be given to that child, if that's your assignment for the day. Whether that's with, um, if we have a child who just walks around and you know needs to be made sure that that child is safe and you just walk with them and you keep them away from unsafe environments. You also help them not to be a distraction to other children by keeping them away from the front where the teacher is teaching. Pretty important that we keep our special needs kids out of that space and they can, they can be at the tables, they can be in with the children, they can sit and take part if they're capable of doing that, or they can walk around to the tables which is perfectly fine. So your job is to make sure that that child is successful and that that child um, has an encounter with the Lord while not being a distraction to everyone else. And we really want to create an environment in Kid Valley where special needs children are accepted, they're included, and the other kids learn to interact with them. So as you're working with a special needs child, take the opportunity to interact with other children, to encourage other children, to talk, to, to chat with that child, to say hello to that child, and to be kind to that child. Because we're training kids by our example. And we can help kids to interact with uh, special needs uh, people and people with disabilities even out in the, in the regular world when they go to the grocery store or when they're at school. We're teaching them skills they can use in all of those places. So once the lesson is done, again, your job is to continue to maintain a safe environment. If the children need to go to the bathroom, which we've already covered, the adults already stand on the outside and they're, they're there and present, but we do not go inside the bathrooms. So we're just continuing to maintain a safe environment and by doing this, by being on time, by connecting with the kids, by living by example, by supporting learning, and, and um, helping kids to encounter God, we're going to see a very successful Sunday morning service. Thank you so, so much for assisting in Kid Valley and for helping us to change, transform, and love this generation. I love you all, and I will see you on Sunday. Bye.